Welcome back to NCC Sports Live. I'm Landon Stoller. It's just April, but football is back on the hill. The Orange had its spring football practices today, and our own Jason Lucas was there. Jason? Thanks, Landon. Last season when the Orange opened fall camp, the mantra was, it starts now. Going into spring practice, the new slogan should be, mix the new with the old. SU kicked off spring drills today with a new offense, new starting quarterback, and 11 returning starters from a team that went 4-8 last season. Projected starting quarterback Ryan Nazib threw for over 400 yards, three touchdowns in nine games. Head coach Doug Marone calls his own number. He just named himself the new offensive coordinator for the team, so he'll be sending in signals for the junior Nazib. One thing that could surprise people is the orange defense. Seven starters returned from a unit that was ranked eighth in the nation with 35 sacks. And the Orange are still strong with senior running back Delon Carter in the rushing game. He totaled the rock for over 1,000 yards. Coach Marone said the team picked up from where it left off last season. I think the players understand what we want to get accomplished when we go out there. They understand how to practice. They understand how to dress. They understand how to line up. So from that standpoint, it, it's, it's exciting. And now we have to go out there and really just work on the football end of things. And I, and I see better communication uh, with this team. It was nice to get out there for the, for the first day. I mean, uh, we had a long winter. We uh, got a lot of workouts in. And it was exciting to get out there, put the helmets back on, and, uh, you know, move that football. And be anxious to get that, see that new offense, see how it was uh, working out. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Yes, September is a long way away, so if you're ready for some football, just make the trip to the Carrier Dome on April the 17th, and you'll see the Orange in their annual spring game at 1 o'clock. And Jason, a lot of people excited for football back on the hill, but no Greg Paulus on offense. You got no Art Jones on defense, so who's been stepping up? Who surprised the coaching staff early on? Coach Marone said it was Van Chu. He was a lanky player last year at 6'1 and 166. That's what he played at. So now he had 15 pounds of the offseason, and the coaches say he can use that speed he has because he can play physical now. And Jason, I know it's still early, but can you, looking at practice, is there anything that you can point out that could be a strength for this team this fall? The strength will be the linebackers. They have three seniors, Doug, Doug uh, Hogue and Ryan Gillum. They mixed up and had over 200 tackles last year and 16 sacks. So Coach Marone said he expects those players to contend for some postseason honors. And Jason, it is early. It is just April. But any predictions you got for this season? What, what are they expecting? Looking at the depth chart and practices so far, I see the team maybe making a run for 6-6 six six in their first bowl game in a few years. They might even make it to the Yankee Bowl this year. So that would be good to get a lot of fans down to the Bronx. And Jason, real quick, it looks like uh, Ryan Nassib's going to be at the helm. How has he been looking so far? He's looked good so far. He's got most of the first team snaps. He shared a little bit of the snaps with Charlie Lowe, but I fully expect him to be under center when the Orange kick off the season in September. Jason Lucas at the campus of Syracuse University. J Jason, thanks for joining us. When we come back on NCC Sports Live, we will look at SU Lacrosse in the Big City Classic. We'll be right back.